Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, which can only be described as today a very volatile start to the week. Already since that CME opened last night on Sunday, 4% move to the upside on Bitcoin, smashing through resistances and obviously moving back up towards that 66,666 level once again. What a start to the week. It's going to be a big one. I can feel it. This is going to be a really great week of trading. Uh, Bitcoin obviously flying. As you know from the last update that I done, which would have been on Friday, was talking about a Bitcoin short position that I was in. Obviously, that went pretty well. We made our way during down Friday. We made our way down and down and down and down. Overall, Saturday morning actually bottoming out at, surprise, surprise, that $60,000 support level, which has just been absolute steel, <laughs> uh, like steel as in very, very, very strong level of support. Uh, obviously, made our way down towards that weekly level. Uh, where we did find support, we got the bounce underway going into Sunday. So obviously coming into Sunday, we saw the flip of the once resistance of the upper weekly that we had. We flipped that from resistance into support. OK, and then we make our way along, we make our way along. And then obviously the explosion coming in last night, so to speak, through the resistance. As you know, we were basically trading a range for two weeks. We had a two week range going on. We finally broke the top of that range very clean break. Yeah, it was a really clean break. No need to short any of that rise. Uh, made our way through the break of, re of the uh, range high. And then we obviously find ourselves back up at around that 66,600 region. So a uh, very interesting start to the day. Obviously, in today's video, I'm going to focus on an altcoin. Obviously, if you want to see really, really in-depth uh, Bitcoin analysis, give you some ideas, give you some heads up, uh, then obviously Trading Assistant every day is going through uh, on a live stream. You can actually give you a really quick preview because he is in the live stream right now. Wait, if you miss this entire move, not a problem in my, in my opinion. Anyway, he is right now talking people through Bitcoin in a live stream that's already been going on for half an hour. Uh, you know, he goes in depth on the analysis, going through all the levels, you know, helping people with the psychological aspects of trading. Just got a real, real, real great analysis that you get every day. Uh, that's obviously for the contenders and the champions. So if you want more in depth analysis on Bitcoin, that's over on the website. Uh, for this video, I actually want to cover bits, which even if you do not trade this, by the way, will still be worthwhile paying attention to because you're going to learn a bit about the Elliott Wave. So I'm going to go through the Elliott Wave count on this. So, uh, yeah, it should be interesting for you, even if you do not trade this token. This is obviously the token that's traded over on Bybit. So obviously, I am mid to long term quite bullish on this coin, to be honest with you. Um, so what do we see here? As you all know, if you can remember, uh, we had this one to one extension, which was covered in the last public video that I did. Obviously, sat there around two dollars eighty. We obviously see a very clean in first impulse wave to the upside. Saw a bit of a um, running flat in wave two, which is considered bullish. We've seen our way up to the one to one extension where we obviously found resistance and we, we got a bit of a pullback. And this was actually I'm going to cover this, but that the, the way the levels are respected, like the one to one resistance to one, the CC, which I'm going to show you now, the levels are really, really well respected here, by the way. So this is always good. If you want to trade, <laughs> it's always good to see the technical analysis respected. So, yeah, obviously, in the end, rejecting from that one to one extension. This is a level that we were definitely aware of. And where we came down to here, I think this is going to be the, the thing that really blows your mind. Of course, you saw it because I wrote it in the champions group. But I'm going to show you this in detail because it's really amazing. You know, it's just it's just really beautiful. So with Elliott Waves. So again, you might want to write a few notes. I'm here for the education. I'm here to teach you. So with Elliott Waves, you cannot see wave four come into wave one territory. OK, so you might be thinking to yourself, hey, this wave four has wicked into the top of wave one. Isn't this invalidating the whole impulsive count? And the answer is no. It is acceptable to see a wick into wave one territory, e.g. this move, this wick here is acceptable into wave one. You can just not see closes into wave one. So this is basically, as I've used this phrase many times recently, the maximum financial opportunity for a long because the invalidation is this cannot close into wave one. You cannot see any closes. If you're spending any time below this, the whole impulsive count is invalidated totally and you are expecting a much more heavy drop.
But because of the fact you had the wick down into the level, as soon as you've seen the wick, this is really quite bullish, yeah? And on top of that, what did you have as the confluence? Well, take your Fibonacci retracement from the low of wave two to the high of wave three, and surprise, surprise, what you bounce into here was the top of the CC. So you kind of had this level, which was just insanely strong. The CC, Fibonacci retracement, from the low of wave two to the top of wave three. You had obviously these closes here, which was resistance, resistance into support. On top of that, you obviously had the Elliott wave knowledge of you cannot close into wave one and you did not close into wave one, you basically found the support really, really, really brilliantly. Surprise, surprise, off to CC really perfectly. And then obviously you've made your way up here. Um, so overall, like what we have thus far is extremely technical. I think you can all agree, no? Really good rejections from one-to-one -one extensions, brilliant pullbacks onto the CC, into SR levels, into invalidate, basically total invalidations of Elliott wave counts, close to invalidations, which basically just gives you a really... Uh, high probability long, really gives you a high probability long. And it's not only that it's a high probability that you would bounce from this, it's also that the invalidation is really, really, really clean. Um, so I always I love to take trades where I know where I'm wrong instantly. And this is a type of trade that once taken, you know exactly where you're wrong. You know exactly where to put the stop loss and you know exactly when to get out the trade. And I think in trading, it's just as important to know your target as it is to know your stop loss and when to get out. Yeah, because too many people won't accept that and they can get a trade which really should be a minuscule loss if, if invalidated and they will hold on to a trade, you know, in, you know, let's say the, the, the asset is dropping and they're holding on and holding on and holding on and holding on and holding on, just praying for a pump. Okay, that's not the way you trade. You need to get out when you're wrong. <laughs> and obviously this is this just was a, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It was really quite a, quite a nice trade with the invalidation so clean. Okay, with that said, let's go back to then what's happening now. I think I've talked you through well enough the wave one, two, three, the pullback here. Of course, we can still see a flat. What we mean by this is this can obviously still do a flat retracement um, because this is obviously a very, very, very quick move to the downside. So this could again go sideways for another, I would estimate potentially, you know, another week of sidewaysness here, e.g. with a bit of a pullback. Uh, of course, Bitcoin is going to be influential to this. Okay, if Bitcoin pumps to all-time highs, it's more likely uh, Bit will, will be breaching uh, the last high of wave three. If Bitcoin drops off the face of the earth, then of course it's more likely Bit pulls back as well. So it is going to be somewhat influenced by Bitcoin. Let's not forget that. So it is important to do Bitcoin analysis if you haven't already, e.g. trading assistant. It will literally do all that for you right now. And... Um, you know, for us here trading bit, it's just important to keep an eye on that. But of course, we're trading the chart that, that bit has in itself. So, um, yeah, that obviously gives us then what we're looking for is as next levels of, of support and resistance. Well, what the, the first thing I'm going to do here is pull this fixed range tool. We obviously are above the last range point of control. We can see the value area high is coming in here around about about two dollars eight twenty. So I would just write this down on a bit of paper. Or I'll just mark it out here and then you can kind of do similar. So around 2820, we would say is our region of resistance locally. Okay, locally. Obviously, that support is 22716. We just pull this for all of this profile. Yeah, about $2.70, more or less. Okay, so you have the you have an intraday support coming in there at $2.70. If we come down on a five-minute chart. Okay, we're we currently got we currently uh you know it's it's currently obviously just in a sideways range and and you will actually see this quite a lot when trading the altcoins that they do these impulses and then they do actually range sideways for quite a long time so you could basically just put a parallel channel on this and you have a very well defined resistance again we're on the five minute time frame but you have a very well defined resistance at two dollars eighty and then you have a very well defined support at two dollars seventy six. So this is a range within itself. And it's just like when trading Bitcoin. Bitcoin had resistance $64,000, support about $60,000, yeah? If it breaks the range high, you look bullish to your next level of resistance. If it breaks the range low, you look bearish to the next level of support. Obviously, Bitcoin broke up bullishly. You look for upside. The same for Bit here. If this breaks $2.80, we can be bullish looking for that value area high, no? 
So it's, it's exactly the same thought process and theories. Whatever asset you're trading, be it Tesla, Nvidia, Bitcoin, Bit, Shiba Inu coin, there is all the same theory across all the assets. And that's what's brilliant. Once you've learned it, you know, you're open to trade anything you want in the world. Um, so that you're yeah, basically a bit on the, on a local term time frame range. If it breaks up, we're obviously looking for the value area high. If we can claim this as support, um, let me just do one other pool here that I like to check, which would not be the CC here, by the way, it would be, let me just see this. Oh yeah. Look at this. So we have actually quite a nice confluence at that about $2 <laughs> to be fair. Actually, we do have nice confluence at $2.82. Then, then you have the next resistance at about, uh, $2.00 uh 86.3 and then of course if you break that you're looking for another all-time high on on the bit token which would be um you know really great where would be the bigger target you know overall bigger target on this obviously towards that 1618 i've already placed out here where i i think we have some confluence uh and that's actually at three dollars ten okay three dollars ten but obviously the the large 1618 target is at three dollars 35 but i think there's more resistance at three dollars ten if you do some more fib and actually work in here and look at the one-to-one -one extensions but yeah around three dollars ten for me is a really important level but the thing is uh, i'm not so keen on just blindly shorting uh all-time highs so eg it's really 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 risky if if this breaks up um to tr just try and short all-time highs you really want to see it like hit into that resistance zone and then form that range and then if it breaks starts to break down you have a bit of a better short because otherwise there's a you know you have to think all-time highs are pretty bullish so to try and short an all-time high blindly like on the first touch is really really not a good idea <laughs> so it's better to have like alerts at a level where you're looking for a potential rejection wait to see if there is actually a potential rejection and you form a range if not you know it really does offer no short position um so really you have that $2.80, which obviously is a higher probability short than like $3.10 at the moment. Yeah. If you form the range at $3.10, then obviously you're granted with, 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 with a potential short. But you have to remember $3.10 up, up, up to um, the 1618 there, which is uh, $3.35. Um, you know, and then obviously to the downside, I mean, this is absolutely critical support there at around $2.40. If you lose that, I think I've already told this in, in a previous uh, analysis, then obviously you look back down towards that $2 level. This is of utmost importance because losing this level, you basically would go into a starting diagonal, which is considered pretty bearish. Okay. And then yes, you do have much more kind of bearish per se targets which yeah you would be looking towards two dollars ten sats uh, two dollars ten two dollars ten <laughs> two dollars ten two dollars ten yeah this is obviously the tether pair that we're trading here um so that's that's the way that you would approach this obviously locally you had your local volume levels of support this is an utmost of importance support level if you lose this it invalidates the whole bullish count and you look for the heavier retracement back down towards um, two dollars but as long as you hold this support we can definitely look for higher in this chart being aware of the local levels of resistance being aware of bitcoin i definitely would not forget about bitcoin because uh, it is going to be influential to what is happening right now on all altcoins on all altcoins bitcoin is is the most important um so yeah uh, basically, yeah, that, that, that's, that's it that I wanted to cover in this video. If you have enjoyed, you can smash that like button very, very, very hard. If you want to see, obviously, last night I've done a Champions live stream update. Daily, you get the updates from Trading Assistant every day with a live stream. You will get live streams from Mike. You'll get live streams from Victor. <laughs> We're talking about every week, by the way. Uh, you get live stream from myself twice a week. You get an update every day from Trading Assistant. Uh, you obviously, people are in here asking questions every single day in the trading help. Even right now, as we're speaking, Trading Assistant, we obviously, there's more than one Trading Assistant, is here answering questions right now. I mean, it's just insane the amount of um, work that we're doing right now. It's really, 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 really great to see. Oh, just lovely feedback. People happy. And that makes me happy. It makes me smile. So, um, yeah, I'm ha really honestly happy to know that we're helping. I'm enjoying the trading, which is just like, for me, this is just like a perfect world right now. And, um, yeah, if you want to see more, of course, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I've given you some insights to the Elliott Wave counts, how you can look to trade them. And, of course, I will end with 
no financial advice. All I've done in this video is given you some ideas for educational reasons, entertainment of what you can look to look look to learn from. OK, obviously not telling you where to put your money because I'm not a financial advisor. I am just a trader and that's it. So thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and goodbye. Cheers.